everyone and welcome to Friday. How's everyone doing today? Yep, boys went off to school absolutely fine, no issues there. They both seem so excited to go to school, which is great. It's like as soon as the bus turned up, Sam was like, Oh no, the bus is here, so of course because Sam was bits so he got on his bus. Obviously he's cooking sometimes this morning and doing chocolate brownies, but I'm not expecting any to come home to be on the zimmer. It's got for a little more in the classroom. You'll see what's excited about doing that. He loves cooking and baking it anyway, as you've seen from the vlogs. Obviously they went to Sage for something they said on Wednesday. They got all the ingredients they need different today. And um, the thing is with Sammy though, he doesn't necessarily always tell us everything he's done at school. So when he does it's nice, especially that sort of thing. So and also yeah, Ben he just couldn't wait to get to school this morning. As soon as so like I said, as soon as I opened the door, that was it. He looked like he was running to get to the bus. And also when I put him on the bus, he was really giggly, really smiley, he even gave me a kiss as well, which was nice. Sam didn't even say goodbye though today for some reason. He was like on his bus and that was it. But anyway, yeah, today um, we haven't really got nothing planned, to be honest with you. Just heading off down to Dad's in a minute. He needs to go around the market, get a couple of bits and pieces, and also pop into the local co-op, get uh, his gas electric, and also put some lottery on as well. I might put the Euro on. I haven't played no Euro for ages, so just, you never know, do you? Just lucky, you never know how much your life could change, just like that. So, yes, yeah, so that is our plan for, for Friday. So, come and join us. Mum and Dad's, don't want me. I got Stephen to pick me up because I was late. He didn't want to walk. Tell you what, it's so so cold out there. It's deceiving because um, you think it's okay, didn't you? Yeah. It's not. It's really chilly. Because when did we go for a walk? Monday, Tuesday. Monday. Yeah, Monday, Tuesday. As you saw from the vlogs, we went for a really really lovely walk. Nice blue sky. Now it's all grey, cloudy, and miserable. Anyway, yeah. So got back just in time actually because we just had a knock at the door. As you can see, Ben's new trampoline poles are come for his trampoline, so he'll be really looking forward to doing that. What you done put that together for him? And what I did from over the weekend and stuff. I know we I'm in an hour in, do we get him a new trampoline? Do we get him the poles and stuff like that? Um but being honest with you, quite a lot of the trampolines are out of stock, aren't they? They're still out of stock, like, stock, like, so obviously, there's nothing wrong with that one. It's just the poles. We've still got the net in every way. And, like, the thing protect the springs. We said, what we're going to do is just get some string and tie it that way around, don't we? Yeah. Well, it's actually a lot cheap and stuff like that. Because I know some people say, oh, yeah, you got this trampoline and stock, etc., etc. Et but with Ben's weight and size and strength, he needs a good, decent trampoline, doesn't he? Yeah. 
And we looked at the plum ones, they were only really six, seven hundred quid for 14 foot trampoline. And there's no way we could afford it that price just for that. So we've got some holes. Um, and we're just going to give it a go up and see how it goes, basically. If it breaks them, it breaks them. You know what I mean? So we've got, but saying that, that we have ordered a couple of spares just in case we need them. Yeah, so I didn't really get nothing from the market, to be honest. We've still got plain fruit in there. I wanted some raspberries, but they didn't have any. But I went to the butchers, and they do um, gluten-free sausages. So I've actually got some lamb gluten-free sausages this time. Um, it's a red lamb sausage. Um, sausages before so I hope you'll enjoy them and he's also got some more pork ones are you going to do, you going to do that now for him? yeah yeah not make use of the box or something now oh of course you can yeah <laughs> anyway yeah uh, Ben's going to love you if you fix this trampoline for him isn't he? Yeah. you know you know it's like with this trampoline I couldn't go through a whole summer I'm not having a trampoline <laughs> you sure you don't want your coat on you? it's cold out here I must say, you'll probably get hot when you're doing all that. So, what have you got to do? You've got to take a. What bitch need? I know all these poles here need replacing. So, if you've got to take. You've got to take it all apart to put it back, like, back together again or not? Yeah. You've got to take it all apart to put it back together again. Oh no, it's only these bits here, isn't it? Yeah. Can I see what you need? You need to replace, take those bits off. Oh yeah, I know. So, anyway, I'll see you. <laughs> you might have me finished by the time the kids come home from school. <laughs> Well, I might need you to get on it and help me with the reach, the reach effort. I'll do that, yeah, but I'm going back in and warm for now because it's cold. Yeah. So you can see the boys are home from school. Sam has gone straight upstairs into his bedroom. Um, yeah, so anyway, Ben, you look so you, sweetheart. Huh? Don't you? You had a busy day at school. I must admit, you didn't get better about half 11, quarter to 12 last night, did you? Then I have to get at 7 this morning. So you can have a nice long lane tomorrow morning, can't we? Yeah, you just eat your snacks, you drink your drink. You have some chocolate and it's also got a couple of bits of banana in there, so aren't you? You like your bananas. Yeah, and you're watching... Well, then you put on for you all day, put Peter Rabbit on. Yeah, you're right, my sweetheart. Yeah, hopefully if you're tired, that means you might sleep properly tonight. Far as knows, had a good day. His teacher hasn't emailed, um, which is good in one way, because obviously they know if he had any issues, they'd have emailed or phoned, so... Yeah, you mm. are you waving? Mm. If you waving, mm. do you want your lights on, Sita? Yeah, if you put your lights on, mm. yeah, go on now, mm. put your lights on for you, shall we? Or you're going to eat your banana. So then, Sammy, you come home in a bit of a, a bit of a stress as well, haven't you? It's teenagers, what would you do with them, eh? Yeah. Anyway, you had a good day at school. Yeah, do you make your chocolate brownies? I've not had. Done today. I cooked them. Oh, you cooked them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, how can you didn't come home with them? Because I don't want to have them. Oh, you don't want to have them? And oh. at school, it was a bake off. Was it a bake off at school? Yeah, it was a bake off for uh, baking stuff. Oh, that was alright then, wasn't it? Yeah. So, you at least you enjoyed them? Yeah. So, you'll probably come home with them Monday, probably, wouldn't you now? Mm. If they haven't seen me diggy. So, Anyway, was it um, Fishy Friday today? Yeah. Oh, that's good then, yeah. So, all right then, sweetheart. So, if you want anything, yeah? We do. We play well, on YouTube. Yeah. Or you can play with your Alexa. Yeah. Yeah? I thought it's already deleted a few videos off the history. No, we haven't deleted anything, sweetheart. Or more on my video now. No, yeah, it might be the owner, but we haven't deleted anything, darling. Also, sweetheart, what lessons is you at school today? Um... It's all the same Friday things. Which is? Um, I did cook in this morning, have lunch, and then I'll have a relaxed afternoon, and then it's, um, and, I'll, and then I'll do some work, and then assembly. Oh, yeah. Is, is it still a Zoom assembly, or is it back in the classroom now? Still, in, still Zoom assembly. Zoom assembly. It's just crazy, isn't it? It really is. All right, then, my sweetheart. Yeah. Yeah, so if you want anything, yeah. let me know then, all right? Yeah. So what are you playing? Go. You're playing this goat game. Um, I don't know who. Some silly, crazy ideas that come up with games, is it? Like a goat thing. So I haven't got a clue what you have to do with this. I really don't know. All I know is Sam is happy going around destroying things and stuff. As you can see there, they get points, don't they, sweetheart? Every time you destroy something or do something, it does. So, so if you can... Listen to saying that, though, you've actually... 
Um, and lots of few things, haven't you? Yeah. Got a few achievements on it and stuff. So Lord is happy on it. And um, what's the rating on this? Is it a twelve? I think it is a twelve, isn't it? Yeah. On this one. Yeah, it was a twelve on the trailer. Was it a twelve? Yeah. Oh, that's not too bad. Then is Peggy it? Twelve. Was it Peggy twelve? Oh. Bye bye. So what have you got to do? Knock all the stuff over. You got to knock all the stuff over. Walk on your front legs a little, le less, less a little apparently, says on here. Mm. Right then, Ben's feet up because your brother's playing on the Xbox. She was around the computer for you to watch. Mm. Yeah, because Mommy needs to do some tea soon, all right? Yay. What do you want to watch? Hey, you'll sleep on for you. Mm. Do you want Lucy down? Or do you want Rory? Well then guys, yep, yeah, it's that time of week again, it's Friday, yep, yeah, doesn't excite me much anymore when it gets to a Friday, yeah, I used to love it when I was younger, when I didn't have no responsibilities, used to finish work, you know, you used to go around the shops, you know, you used to buy what you fancied and basically just enjoyed yourself, innit, it, really? Hi. Yeah. So, I think it also doesn't help because... You have to work weekends as well, you know what I mean? I say work on Saturday. It'd be nice for you to stay off for you to come home one day. So guess what? I've got the weekend off because if you want Saturdays off, you've got to use your holidays. Well, you know I, I mean? or when I agreed to, well, the way I did, I agreed to work certain hours which were early mornings to when I finished now. Yeah. I didn't I did there was nothing about what day I had to work. No. It was just you know, it's just the way it is. But, oh, well, you've got to be grateful for where you are, I suppose. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, you know, I just wish I could put a smile on my face. I just can't, you know. Maybe you, when summer gets here, you know what I mean? That might change. Yeah, I'm just sick and tired of the last few days of getting up in the morning and the cars are iced up. You know, it's just been a constant crappy weather, which you just don't want. You know, you now more than ever, I just want spring here and summer. You know, if the winter's not going to deliver what it's supposed to do with the snow and everything else, then, you know, it can just... Go away. Just go away, you know. <laughs> just bring spring and summer in and let's en enjoy ourselves again. Because this say, summer we've got the, Queen, the Queen's four-day Jubilee weekend to look forward to. Oh, well, yeah, that's going to be good, isn't it? Really good. <clears throat> yeah, I can imagine what that's going to be like. I mean, we're not going to be here, though, are we? We're going to be down quite young. Well, that's, that's good. We'll be on holiday, so I'm happy. Yeah, we're on holiday, what's happening, won't we? So I think that's the thing. I think it's like now it's fine hard what to do to keep them entertained because there isn't much open at the minute, is there? You know what I mean? Yeah. There's always that thing between what do we do now? Because obviously, like I said, the theme parks are not open until March, do they? No. I know for every half term, they're, they're open, it's only set to rise and stuff, but. Again, as soon as March comes around, we've well away, won't we? Got yeah, but February after, term, we are seriously getting out. Yeah. And um, we are going to be at the theme park, so we are going to be... I'm going to get the kids out there, because I want to do it. The thing is, both go on rides now as well, which is great, so... Another thing that has annoyed me, you know, my certain football team. It's oh, so yeah. hard to get tickets. I know, you want you know, to... I love, you know, I wanted to, you know, probably go for Wembley when they got the Carabao Cup final, but... You know, you need to be into two or three games and, you know, all this and that. Why is it so hard to get Premier League tickets? So it's just Wembley, you know what I mean? I wish when it comes to a cup final that Wembley deals with the tickets. It will be. I'm going to spend while they don't. Because no, Wembley, Wembley, Wem Wembley sell the tickets to the general public and that's it. Yeah. Because how many does Wembley hold? It's about 9,000 people, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Or is it more than that? I'm not too quite sure. Yeah, so I think a lot easier if you've done it through that way. Because just if I remember rightly, crazy then, just to watch a football match. Yeah, because if I remember rightly, I know it's our local town was only like, like on a small town. I remember when they got to Wembley from their finals which they won. If I remember rightly, to get tickets, you had to contact Wembley direct. Yeah, you see the difference. It's just you know, anyone out there who knows anyone who can get a ticket, let me know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Or if Liverpool won't give you a free one, you'll put and take a free view one, won't you? Yeah, I wouldn't mind a free ticket. I'll vlog it, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind doing another inside Anfield or something like that. Yeah, for a free yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I'm still considering what I'm going to be doing on my birthday this year, you know. I want to probably... No, I've got a consideration. I might want to go to Alton Towers for my birthday or... 
I might even consider going on another Liverpool tour if I can. It's okay, but we looked at Alton Towers, didn't we, for the weekend? Something in the hotel. It's only 700 quid. Just for, just for two nights? I don't know, Merlin, you know, where they get their prices from. They're absolutely disgusting. The thing is, you know, if, you, if you're rolling in it, you're happy. But, you know, those prices are like nearly a month's wages for some people. I think as I was thinking with that Merlin discount. Yeah, yeah, it's just disgusting, Merlin. If anything watching, those prices are horrendous. The thing is, put it this way, we, that was what we, what Merlin want for a weekend at Old Towers is practically what we paid for our trip when we go down to um, Great Yarmouth in Dubai. So it's just crazy. I've been asked, Steve, Merlin. You know, do you really? What is the point of putting hotels on your parks when people just want to stop in Premier Inns because they can't afford it? Crazy prices, I bet your Premier Inns near to any theme parks are oh, absolutely ram solid. I bet you. I bet there is. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching again, guys. Is she going to say goodbye from the background? Yes. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow at 5 pm. Yeah, guys. Bye, like video, comment down below. Bye, guys. Yeah.